Hi family, it's another beautiful day. This is the fall. Um, this is like my favorite time of the year besides the summer. I love the sun, I'm a sun worshiper. Um, you know, it's just a beautiful day and I wanted to come out and try to get some things off my mind. I'm just so glad that I'm doing this video, uh, this vlogging in this video series, uh, series because you know, it's a lot of things that I would like to pass down to the next generation and a lot of wisdom, a lot of advice for women, young ladies, and our young men. I definitely uh, have a heart to uplift them um, because it seems like those people who are in position to do these things have neglected that responsibility. You know, God says, the Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. And that is something that you have to live up to. Um, and you, you, you know, you have to be serious when it comes to our next generation because it's a lot of neglect when it comes to them. It's not really their fault. We're in the situations that they're in. Um, in a way it is because of the lack of knowledge, but if you look at them, you see a lot of disparity. You see a lot of depression, a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, numbness, not caring because of so much acceptance of loss, humiliation. It, it takes a toll. It takes a toll on, on an adult. Can you imagine what it would do for a child, the, the condition of... Um, people, you know, um, what it does. So it's important that we try to uplift these young men and these young ladies. So I make it a habit when, I, when I'm when i around someone who taking a little interest in me or I take an interest in them and I talk to them eye to eye, face to face, especially in those ghetto areas. You know, I always tell them, you, why you don't, why you not in school? You look like you're going to be a nice, you, gonna, you look like you're going to be a lawyer. No, you look like you're going to be a judge one day, you know. And when I say that to these kids who are just out here, they look at me and they look at me in a different way because no one's saying this to these kids. No one is encouraging them or telling them, um, you know, a vision. You, people should have a vision in their heart, but sometimes they got to see the vision in other people. And unfortunately, in a lot of these areas where they are, there is no vision like that because nobody's really doing that. They're working and things like that. And so they don't aspire to do these things because it seems so out of reach for them and uh, a great feat, but it's really not with the right encouragement and support. So, you know, I want to tell young men, you know, you, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. And, you know, you, you are a lawyer. You are a judge. You are a plumber. You, you are something greater than what you think you are. You can do this. You know, it's time to make better choices and not give in to this hype or this rap. Let's stop listening to that rap, man. This culture, this rap culture has really destroyed this generation. They are responsible also for this. It's a lot of <laughs> responsible uh, con conduits in this situation of the black people. Nobody wants to take response from the churches to the parents, uh, to the education, to the government, to the rap. You know, it's, it's just so many dynamics um, that is plaguing, plaguing us to the point of uh, <laughs> disparity. And I, I understand, man. I, I understand our kids, you know, and I, I don't ever want to look down on nobody or ever put myself above nobody. But, you know, it's important that we as, our, as the elders look at these young people and encourage them. And, you know, we, we might not have the money to help them. And if I did, you know, I would be setting up some kind of program where they can live and go to school. That's We need more of those type of programs, you know, because I was homeless going to school. And I, I know how it is. And, but, you know, I was so determined to get my education that I just dealt with a lot of 
crap, okay? But I didn't have to, and it shouldn't be that hard. You know, I remember once a time growing up where, um, you know, men always expected the women to go to school and get an education to be a breadwinner for the family while they worked and hustled and supported the women. But when I come, it's, it's such a different time now. It's, it's really scary where we are right now. I, I, you know, but I, I need to, I want to remind, remind our young men and young ladies uh, of the places where we come from and where we are and how to get there. And, and it comes through encouragement and through support. It's enough negativity out here, out here through people. We need more positivity. A lot of people are living in so much dire circumstances at home with some of these mothers and their boyfriends that these kids really don't have a chance. I feel bad for them. I feel sorry for them. I had a hard time growing up through some serious abuse and sickle cell and anemia. I had a very hard time, but you know, I mean, at my age, I, I haven't even gotten over a lot of the things, but what, you know, I guess I faced a different battle, but today these kids facing another type of battle, and it's more of a diminishing type of battle, and, you know, that's why it's so easy for them to get guns and kill. You know, I remember coming up, <laughs> you could count on one hand of people that died and it wasn't from no gunshot you know it was from where I grew up like sickle cell or somebody got sick or somebody committed suicide and we're left with the runts because all the good people have left us and it's only a few of us left a few good people are standing and you're one of them and you have a responsibility you know, you come across somebody, I, you know, I like speaking and saying hi, but if they don't say hi or they don't respond, then just keep it moving because it's not worth the conflicts. It's not worth conflicts these days. But you always get a young man or a young lady that will respond, and that's when you plant your seeds. Uh, you know, you look like a teacher or you look like a nurse. Why are you not in school, you know? Uh, they And you need to encourage them and let them know. You know, you get money to go to school, you know. For a long time, I was getting $5,000 a semester to, to get my degree through Pell Grants. You do not have to pay that back, and that is a huge support when you don't have any money, you know, and these young young people need to know that they they do have support and through those systems. I mean, you know, uh, we need to encourage them. You got your GED. I mean, some people are in their forties and don't even have their GED or diploma. You know, and I mean, you still got another forty more years to go to to work in this life to live decent I mean they give social security benefits like welfare now some people are getting six hundred dollars five hundred dollars a month from social security seven hundred that's not enough to live on for a whole month you're only gonna get your basic necessity needs with that that's not enough it's, I, I feel bad I feel bad for people who's gonna be trying to retire and that's all they can live on and that, and that is why so many of these mothers try to live off their kids and all that, because they didn't put the work in. And they want to blame, oh, well, I was too busy raising my kids. That's, stop using that as an excuse, because I'm in school with a lot of women who have children, and they're in school and they work. So that's not an excuse. And it's really important that, you know, we take accountability and responsibility for what we do and admit your faults, admit your mistakes and say you could have done better. Nobody owes you anything. Okay, yeah, that's your kid, but let him live his life. Let these kids live their life. They don't owe you nothing. Nobody owes you anything. If they able to grow up and take care of themselves and not be in jail, you did your job. Kudos to you. Praise God, you did your job. You know, and uh, Again, I just want to encourage our young people, you know, to, to stay in school, to keep your name clean. Your name is all you got. If you, if you 
man, you start going to jail and all that. Oh my God, it's, <laughs> they, they put a tag on you. It's, it's another concept for competition, okay? You, that means you're knocked out of the box. You're competing not only with your own race, you're competing with other, uh, uh, in, you're the inferior race competing against superiority races already. You know, it's almost being a mark. You know, they they talking about the six six six. That's the mark. The the uh, your record, your name. Your name is all you got. Keep it clean. And this is what we need to tell our people. These young kids. Your name is all you got. Keep it clean. You know, I'm gonna do another video. Try and make it real short for our brothers about that. And our sisters, too, you know, uh, as well. So I'm going to keep this one short, and I'm going to go on to the next video. Um, but, you know, it's a fall day. You know, you can see it's quite cold. And, you know, I just want to come out and say hello. So uh, just go ahead and uh, keep that in mind, what I, what I was just speaking about, what I just said. And... Uh, that's that's not forget to encourage you know if you don't say nothing else at all encourage and I know we've dealt with some abuse with from these youngsters and stuff but they're angry man they angry I you, you I don't blame them you you could if you see what they probably have to with the shoes they're walking through and what they got to go through I don't blame them but you know we as the elders we have to tell them, you know, young lady, young man, I know you angry, but, you know, you have to do better for yourself. Please get in school. Promise yourself to go to school. And, uh, you know, I, I want to see I want to see some better progress with our people, with, with the people, with all people, not just our people, anybody, because I'm human first. It's about being a human being first. Okay, and next video, I'm going to talk about my hair. Hello. Okay, y'all have a good one, and thumbs up if you like it.